Welcome, my name is Thomas, and I'm here to share this video of uh, paid preparers due diligence requirements. In this video, just going to be an overview of what those requirements are. And see, I specialize in helping individuals who are already in this industry, like I am, uh, position themselves from employee to employer, where now they're ready to become their own tax service. So I specialize in helping individuals uh, transition into being their own tax service. Uh, and I help individuals who want to learn how to prepare basic income taxes do that as well. And so I've been in this industry for the last 18 years, the last 12 of the business owner. And so that's what I help people do uh, when it comes to tax preparation. And so in this video, just an overview of the paid prepared due diligence, uh, which is something you should be familiar with already if you're in this industry like I am. And so when it comes to the paid prepared due diligence, it's all about a couple of things. One, uh, you making sure that the information that you get is um, the is it is it incomplete, inconsistent, or incorrect? Uh, and also taking notes, you know what I'm saying, documenting everything that's going on for our interview on the client and asking the client certain questions. Uh, the biggest problem about paid repairs due diligence is a lot of preparers don't know what the due diligence requirements are about, so they can't follow them. They can't they can't uh, utilize them inside their business. And so it's, you must learn these due diligence requirements because this is going to be the piece that's going to protect you along the way as you pursue a possible career in the tax preparation industry. And so when it comes to this, uh, I utilize IRS.gov for all my training, all my research, all my due diligence and all the things I want to know concerning this industry because these are the people who uh, paved the way for making this industry what it is as far as making the information available. And so I don't I rarely use third-party resources when it comes to research, and I go straight to the people who set the laws and regulations out for this industry, and that's IRS.gov. So that's the number one website I use for all my research that I need to have done concerning whatever issue I may have that I'm not familiar with. And that's what I recommend people use when it comes to uh, doing their research and doing their due diligence. And if you have someone that you can go to uh, that's experienced in this industry already who can help you with some uh, research and due diligence questions, please definitely utilize those uh, people to help you, to protect you from being fined for not being in compliance with your due diligence requirement. So again, this is just going to be a brief overview of what that's about. Uh, you know, if you want to learn more, uh, you can utilize ours.gov and, and go on the website and do your research and find out about more. And if you want to work with someone who's already in the industry, who already specialize in helping people uh, transition from uh, employee to uh, employer, where you now ready to start your own tax business, uh, then reach out to me and with my contact information. I'm giving a free 45 minute discovery session where you get to talk to me on, uh, on a Zoom call face to face. We get a feel for one another. We get to talk and ask each other a series of questions to see if we'll be a good fit for working for another, one another, especially if you don't live in the same demographic as I live. See, I'm in the Midwest, I'm in Chicago, a big city, so I got people I work with hands-on, face-to-face, uh, in a classroom setting, uh, with the program that I have, but I also work with people remotely uh, who's interested in working with me in that type of way. And so when it comes to the due diligence requirements, part of that consists of you not normally know that the information that you're receiving from a client it's incorrect, incomplete, or inconsistent. You might, you can't willingly know that the information that you are dealing with is false and erroneous. And so that's part of the due diligence requirement. Uh, also, documentation of uh, certain aspects of what you're doing for us interviewing a client and asking them certain questions must be written out and a response uh, recorded on what the client told you about the information that you asked about. And so the biggest issue with these requirements is you must learn what they are in order to be able to go out here and uh, implement them inside this industry. And so that's going to be the most important, uh, one of the most important factors of being in the industry and protecting yourself from being fined uh, by the IRS by not being in compliance with the due diligence requirements because uh, those fines can be really healthy, uh, re get really large and uh, be a burden on you financially and you don't want to position yourself in that way so it protects you uh, if no one else to learn the due diligence requirements 
and start to implement them inside your business on a regular basis when it comes to uh, preparing individual income taxes for clients will be um, a way to protect you in the long run. Uh, so uh, one of the things is, uh, like they said, document, document, document. I'm going to give you an example of a due diligence requirements and what that looks like. Uh, for instance, you have a young lady, she's 22 years old, she has two kids, she has a W-2 for $8,000, and she coming to your tax office, and she, 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 she fills out a client data sheet and all that, and now she's sent to you uh, to have a tax return done. Uh, as part of that process is to be able to interview the client uh, thoroughly to ask them uh, a series of questions uh, that makes sense to why she's there and to why she's filing a tax return with two kids uh, at age 22 with a W-2 with $8,000 of worth of income for the year uh, is part of what that requirement is. And so you want to ask the client, uh, number one, why are your parents still alive? Based on that response, you're going to ask, uh, will you, why aren't they claiming you on their tax return? So, each question and, and the response, you're gonna not you're gonna notate that on either uh, some paper or you're gonna notate inside the software. You know the option is up to you. A lot of software these days give you the option to make notes when it comes to the due diligence requirements that you can print out as part of the tax return that they can sign off on. And so in that situation, I'm gonna ask the client uh, if the parents are alive, and if she say yes, I'm gonna ask why come uh, her parents are not claiming her to children on a tax return, whatever her response is, I'm going to write that down. And then from there, maybe ask uh, several other questions as part of that interview process with this particular type of client who had to be 22 with two children uh, filing on her own. That's what that new business requirement is really all about. And so as you go through that interview process with that t particular individual, uh, and ask a series of questions and notate them and document them and put them down on paper, uh, that helps protect you in a situation that may arise at home. And so that's one example of how due diligence works. Uh, to get more examples on how due diligence works uh, for real world situations, you know, like I said, you last uh is the go-to platform for all my learning and training and resources. And so, again, if you don't know about due diligence requirements, then it's up to you to learn them because if you're working for a company who doesn't have top-notch training that's going to require you to learn all different aspects of what your job is about, uh, then it's up to you to learn it for yourself to protect yourself. And so again, uh, in this type of description area, uh, if you want to learn more on how you can work with me, if you want to learn more on what it's going to take for you to become your own tax business, reach out to me and we can uh, talk and make that happen. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe with the bell for notification. So every time I go live or do an upload, uh, you'll be notified and you get to follow me on my journey uh, as I've been in this industry for the last 18 years, the last 12 years I've been in zone, and where I'm headed and where I'm going uh, since I've been here in this industry uh, has changed over the years. And so now I specialize in working with self-employed individuals and small business owners when it comes to preparing income taxes and as it relates to helping uh, pay preparers and tax professionals uh, convert over to business owners. I specialize in that as well. And so if you'd like to know more about that, just reach out to me. And I, I'd like to hear from you. I'd like to work with you. And if you have any questions, concerns, any comments, please leave them in the comment section. And I'll definitely answer them as, as soon as I can. Uh, and I'll get back to you in my next video. You have a great day.